This is a meteorite that fell to Earth from space. But how do we know it's a meteorite? Let's take a closer look. Probably the first notable thing about this stone is its color. It doesn't have necessarily a fusion crust that we see when fresh meteorites are recovered. That's all been worn away. This thing has essentially been sandblasted in the desert by wind and sand, and that's created a beautiful desert varnish. And this particular kind of shade and sheen and texture of that varnish is something that we see more often with chondritic meteorites like this one. We can also note the kind of shape of this stone overall and the fact that it is kind of smooth on some sides and has little thumbprint indentations on the other side. Now that smooth texture is somewhat characteristic of some types of meteorites, although there are plenty of smooth rocks on earth as well. But those thumbprints, what we call regmaglyphs, those are not something we see in earth rocks. That's where essentially material was ablated off the stone as it flew through our atmosphere as a meteor. And we can even sometimes tell the direction the meteor flew based upon how those regmaglyphs uh, exist or are laid out on the stone itself. I think the third notable thing here is that this stone is fractured and lots of earth rocks are fractured. But as you can imagine, when a meteor hits the ground, it's likely to fracture depending on what it hits or its state because of the force of the impact itself. And that's probably what's happened to this stone. Now, when we look at that fractured section, it is kind of the texture of it that kind of hints at meteorite. That internal texture we see is common within uh, chondritic meteorites. And if you look really close, you can maybe even see some evidence of chondritic Chondrules, so spherical um, areas that were once molten that solidified as the rock cooled down in space. And we can also see evidence of metal here. This stone isn't clean, but you can still see a couple little shiny areas where metal's kind of popping through. And most meteorites contain metal, particularly ordinary chondrites such as these will have quite a bit of metal in them ranging from um, lower to higher metal stones. The last thing I'll mention about this stone that maybe you can't appreciate in the video is that for its size, it's quite heavy. It's somewhere around three and a half pounds, which is a lot heavier than you would expect a stone of this size to be. And that is primarily because of both its density and really the metal that is contained within it. This stone is almost certainly a meteorite. Of course, my disclaimer is that the lab always gets the final say, but there's enough here that I can say with pretty reasonable certainty that this is a meteorite. Listen, if you like learning about space through the lens of the space rocks that make their way to Earth, follow along. I've got tons of space rocks in my collection to share with you, and I look forward to showing you how space is within your reach.